On May 24th, local veterans from VFW Post 1822 sat down with 6th grade students from Plymouth South Middle School to share their experiences and thoughts on the meaning of military service. We went on the local scene to Plymouth Memorial Hall. Uh, we're here today to have a, a school group from the town of Plymouth come visit Memorial Hall. Uh, they're grade six, and they have been learning about veterans. And in getting ready for Memorial Day, uh, they're going to come down and learn about Memorial Hall and what our town's kind of all about. Plymouth South Middle School teaches a literacy unit on social issues and my colleagues and I had the idea of how wonderful it would be if the students learned that they are members of a larger community outside of themselves. So we decided we should each pick a place that was a little bit near and dear to our hearts and have the students go out into the community and learn not only about the organization but how they could help. The students are captivated by by things that happen around them that there's a little meaning put behind. So I decided I had a good group for it this year and I contacted Dennis Russell, the head of the VFW in Plymouth. He was so honored, which just filled me up, that he was so happy that someone was paying attention to veterans in our town very eager to talk about his service, uh, very eager to talk with me. So we launched this whole idea together. So we've got a, a nice mix of veterans who are happy to sit down and speak to these students. They have got some prepared questions. I'm sure they have some other questions, but we're happy to have this opportunity. And I think it's very important that they actually have a chance to speak to a veteran and find out you know, what did they experience and, you know, what's it like? I believe part of a social studies teacher's job is to educate students on just history in general and the world they live in. So we live in the United States of America. We live in Plymouth, which has so much rich history. I teach a lesson on Memorial Day every year and this just ties in perfectly. And as part of Memorial Day, remembering veterans who have passed away, I wanted the students to realize we can also acknowledge and remember veterans outside of Veterans Day who are still alive and who have stories to share that deserve to be heard. I learned that most people who are in the military make sacrifices that almost every kid doesn't know until they go to something like this and they learn about it. Like, they sacrifice their lives on a daily basis to help get us freedom. It was pretty cool. It's not like uh, reading a book, like you're actually with the person like that's like telling the story that they experienced. I'm watching in there today and I just love what, what's going on and, and seeing their faces and hearing how excited they are to learn about people who weren't that much older than them and went off to war. I learned a lot about the conditions in what they and the wars they fought in, like how people felt while they were in Vietnam and just in general their experiences and everything that's happened to them. This means to me how important it is for the veterans for us to learn about this stuff because I feel like people think of middle schoolers like they don't really want to learn about the community and this is important to the veterans because they want to show us what freedom means. Uh, as far as students go, I think at an early age uh, that there's many freedoms and uh, opportunities that, that we have in this country and those don't come without a price tag and I think it's important that children know and young, the, the younger generation understands that uh, those who have gone before them have um, fought and um, made sure that they preserved their freedoms and their ability to do and be whatever they want to be. And I think the realization of that is very, very important to know that I have this opportunity and, it's, and I am grateful for those who have allowed me to have these opportunities and these basic freedoms 
that you won't find in every country. That's why it's important. My dad joined the Marines before I was born. And his cousin Craig is in Oregon right now in the Army. Saw him before COVID hit. And he came back in 2020. Um, it's hard not seeing your family for a little bit. But it's nice when he comes back. Most of my family was in the armed forces. Uh, so my parents were all in the Navy. And I once did a project on all the family members I had in the military. And there were a lot of them. So this uh, tells me a lot more about the sacrifices that my family members have made and all the things they do to help give all the people in the U.S. freedom. What does your service mean to you? Wow. Um, I guess it means that I stood up for my country during a very turbulent time in American history. Um, World War II, people couldn't wait to enlist. They were all excited. Vietnam War, People were leaving our country, they were going to Canada, and you as a person had to make the decision, were you on this team or that team? And I decided to enlist in the Navy and uh, do something bigger than myself. And it's uh, a matter of pride. It's uh, something that I'm happy I had the opportunity to serve the country. Uh, I come from a family that uh, was involved in the military. Uh, my dad was uh, Omaha Beach in Normandy, and uh, I felt uh, an obligation to say thank you for the freedoms that, that I enjoy and that we all enjoy, and I want to be a part of making sure it's preserved. Well, first of all, you're fighting for your country, and you're fighting for other countries for freedom. Uh, other countries other parts of the world, they don't have the opportunities that we have here in the United States. And I'm hoping that by doing my military service, it's helped other countries and not just ourselves for the freedom that we enjoy today. And uh, there's a lot of camaraderie while I was in the service. Uh, I still attend reunions and I keep in touch with probably half a dozen men that I served. So my service to me means a lot to me. It means I. I was willing to put myself on the line for my country. And as today, we had the opportunity to share our experiences and tell younger generations what we went through and what we did. Well, I'm glad that I served. My <clears throat> grandfather served in the Army. My father served in the Navy. And I'm glad that I did my part in the Army. So nobody else had to go in my place. My service means to defend the country. Uh, my father served in World War II. My brother served, he was in Vietnam. Um, I, I, I felt it's an obligation um, to, our, to our country um, to serve and to protect it. And based on what John F. Kennedy said in his inauguration speech, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you, what, you, what you can do for your country. And that's why I wanted to do that, was to protect and to defend our country.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below before you go. We'll see you next time.